Welcome to another video math lesson. Today's topic is finding the perimeter of an irregular object. I'm Mr. Pye and I'm going to be your host today. So let's get this party started. This video was inspired by a question from a YouTube user, YouTube viewer of mine. And the question that was sent in was determine the amount of molding needed to surround the window completely. Now the title of this lesson was to find the perimeter of an irregular shaped object. This is an irregular shaped object because it's not a simple object. It's a combination of two objects. We have a rectangle here, and we have a semicircle on top of the rectangle. So that'd be a pretty neat looking window. Now, the first thing that we need to do to find the perimeter or the amount of molding needed to surround this window completely would be convert either the feet into inches or the inches into feet. If we convert the 30 inches and the feet will end up with a decimal or a fraction number, and uh, we want to avoid those if we can. And so if we convert the feet, four feet into inches, that'll leave us with all whole numbers to work with, at least until we get to the part with pi. So the first step would be to convert the four feet into inches by taking the four feet, multiplying it by 12 to get 48 inches. Since this is a rectangle, this side is four feet or 48 inches long. Therefore, this side's going to be four feet or 48 inches long. Uh, the second thing that you need to do is find the circumference of this semicircle. A semicircle is half of a circle. And the thing that we really need to concern ourselves with is finding the radius of this circle. That would be the distance from here to here. Since this whole side is 15, that would be the diameter. We take that diameter and we divide it in half to get 15. So the radius of the semicircle is 15. We can see here then the second step is to find that circumference of the semicircle. The circumference of a semicircle is one half times two times pi times r. In the parentheses is the formula for the circumference of an entire circle and since we only need half we'll multiply it by one half. You can see we substitute 15 in for r here and this is a matter of just plugging it into the calculator. Uh, if you need to do it by hand, you would hopefully realize the 1 half and the 2 will become 1. So all you'd have to do is multiply 15 times pi here. And the circumference of that semicircle is approximately 47 inches. So starting here and going around the semicircle would be a distance of 47 inches. To finish this problem up, we need to find the perimeter of the window by adding the three sides of the rectangle and the circumference of the semicircle. The 47 inches is the circumference of the semicircle, so we'll start by adding that in. The second thing, or the second measurement is 48 inches. That would be the length of this side here. Also, it would be the length of this side here, since it is a rectangular object. Opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent or equal, so that accounts for that 48. And finally, the 30 inches here represents the bottom of the window. And so when we find the sum of these four numbers, that gives us a total of 173 inches of molding that you're going to need to surround that window by molding. This has been Mr. Pye, and I hope this has helped you find the perimeter of an irregular shaped object.